Hello everyone, we're going to be doing castle on bank today. Just wanted to show you guys what I use for my typical castle setups and what I've seen work really well and try and explain to you guys the things that are going to work well for you. So the first one I like to do if I spawn in sight is do this window here. And then the other thing I like to do is get these footholds put in as well as head holes for the main stairs. You want to try and get as flush with that platform as possible so that way when they come down you can make sure that you get anyone who's walking down those main stairs additionally what i like to do is i like to get these two garage doors here what that does is it prevents anyone from just straight ying rushing you or at least makes them burn utility give you some audio cues before they even try it put both of my beepers up there and then for the last one, what I like to do will either be go to top of blue and castle off top of blue, just because that makes it harder for them to end up pushing if they go through open. If you have someone playing in server, they're not going to be able to just rush down blue stairs and then have one dirt, one server. The other thing that is super important, you just want to make sure if you are the only shotgun player, you make a running rotate here that way that you are able to just come through and then you make an opposite rotate on the b now if you don't have anyone playing server rack the other castle that i recommend is this site door that i'm barricading right here what that does is it allows for safe passage between red hall if they open up garage if they're playing garage you're gonna see that this might end up getting opened if they punch it if they ash charge it zofia it grenade it sledge it any of that kind of stuff having that extra castle there is going to give you some safe passage because they're going to be afraid of being contested both either from your typical reinforced wall or from someone playing on metal side just kind of cuts off their angles on you and allows you to rotate a little bit safer and that's how you set up basement now let's go ahead and work our way over to the second floor we are on our next site we're in ceo first thing i do is always barricade off banana and then you want to make sure that you get the left side of the double window the reason it's the left side not the right side is because the bomb chassis is going to block your way and provide some nice angles for you while giving you some good body coverage after that what i do is i barricade off trump the reason being that normally if someone pushes up spiral they'll get a nice long angle and you can kind of try and force them up the rotate that you set up trump is normally a 15 second meta type push so doing it as a rotate kind of slows them down and could possibly stall out around for you as well as force them to play in a non-advantageous position if you have a teammate that's going to set up your quad windows and you plan on playing in trump near elevator or if you just plan on playing in elevator making this rotate and castling off that barricade while reinforcing the single wall it's going to provide you with some of the best results for being able to escape because that provides you safe passage all the way back into site while all the castles are providing you safe passage from the windows the only other thing that as castle you might end up doing is setting up these rotates for your teammates if you have no one else that's got impacts or a shotgun setting up some beepers for conference and janitor and then making sure that you play near the windows with one prep for run out and the glass shot open so that way you can hear people on repel and that is how you set up the second floor on bank okay we're back so you're in open area it's not a typical site that you make it to normally defending you don't get three defense rounds right you're normally just kind of stuck a little bit so playing open area you're probably not entirely sure how to set up the site hopefully your friends are going to reinforce those quad walls or your random teammates either way as well as the admin triple walls but what you should focus on as castle is making sure that you set up the electrical castle that forces them to burn utility on their way in or give you a pretty good uh, idea that they're pushing there if they start punching it 
doing this double door allows you to play on this rotate a little bit harder because you don't have to worry about as much coming up as long as someone gets that open area hatch you'll be able to barricade that now orcs pretty popular lately so you may or may not end up having someone who wants to play oryx and play janitor closet and or basement if they are playing a janitor closet what you can do since it's in oryx is you can try and use your last castle upstairs to provide them a forced uh angle or you can use it for this single staff room door to provide you a little more security depending on if your team makes a rotate into archives or if they reinforce all three you'll be able to use the castle for the door and archives as well the beepers are going to actually be easily best placed on the box outside of the double door a lot of people will be walking past these boxes and you'll be able to place a beeper there that not too many people are going to pay attention to and then the last one I normally use is just for the jump in. Just so that you know if anyone came in, if no one's playing on that wall, or if let's say you're in a 1v1 and the other person just grabbed a fuser, they're outside, you're kind of holding this angle behind bomb chest and you're not sure exactly if they jumped in or not. Just because you have a lot of teammates that are talking or background noise or anything, right? You can kind of just throw that there just for a little better knowledge you can also just play this angle instead of playing on that and reinforce the hatch to make sure they're not nading you from below you have a lot of different options on this but these are the castles that i typically play they're going to be the double door electrical door the double door for open area and then this double door from the little printer room just to kind of cut off any rotates okay welcome back guys final site teller's archives so there's a really weird setup that I like to do for this one. It's not super great, but I do like to make that little rotate in there so that you can play open. I castle that window so that way if you're getting pushed out of open, you can rotate back and reinforce this wall back up. You just have to make sure that you're playing with teammates that are going to keep in mind that their castle or whatever roamers they have are playing in open. So they need to make sure that they keep a reinforcement in their pocket. Then you're going to set up very similar castles to open area. You're just going to set this up here. And then instead of doing too many grandiose ones, you already have the beepers for blue. So your team that's going to be on site, they should be able to handle that. You want to make sure that you cut off being able to be shot in the back of the head and then close off any extraneous angles that you have that are available to you. And with your beepers, you can naturally just put one above the door. And the last one on the printer door, just in case they decide to walk in. You can also do the other side door since that side has beepers. It's kind of just dealer's choice. For now, that's going to be it. Um, thank you guys for coming in. If you guys are interested in more castle videos, feel free to check the other videos on the channel. If you guys like other siege content, we've got other siege content coming too. But for now, I just thought I'd offer up some how to play castle on bank. Have a good one, guys.